So you're interested in getting a new axolotl, but feel overwhelmed with all the information out there. Keep watching as I reveal the best axolotl resources to help you get started. Hi, this is A Gamer's Wife, here with practical and proven tips to help busy aquarists like you. And if you didn't know already, I used to own axolotls, but unfortunately, one died from my own human error and another from health issues. Now, it really stinks when I lose a shrimp or a betta fish, but when you lose a larger pet that's almost a foot long, it's just particularly painful. So I haven't kept axolotls for over a year now because I wanted to take a break and really do some in-depth research on what it takes to own them. I just don't want to go through the heartache of prematurely losing another one, if at all possible. I feel like what makes axolotl owning more difficult than fish keeping is that as exotic animals, there's a lot less information out there about their husbandry. And then the data you find is often based on the opinions or personal experiences of hobbyists, but not necessarily professional research. So today, I'm going to show you the results of my search and rank my top favorite axolotl books and resources. This is not a care guide video, so if you just want to go straight to my favorite beginner resource, visit axolotl.org. It's free and available online, very well organized and easy to read, and has a lot of accurate detailed information that really helped me when I was getting started. Another website that has a lot of information is expopetguides.com. Written by hobbyists, this article definitely describes the latest, most conservative trends in axolotl keeping, so this page will steer you clear of most controversy. So besides online websites and forums, here are the other types of axolotl resources I found. In order of most common to least, we have children's science books, research papers and newsletters, salamander pet care books, and then a small number of axolotl pet care books. Now the children's science books weren't that helpful because they usually consisted of one page of description about axolotls mixed in with one page summaries of other oddball animals. As for research books and papers, there were tons. Axolotls are commonly used in research for their regenerative properties and have been shown to even have an effect on breast cancer. Woohoo! The king of all research books is Developmental Biology of the Axolotl, edited by John Armstrong and George Malasinski. It's published in 1989 and is more of a collection of scientific papers on axolotls. Probably less than 25% of the book contains interesting info on their natural history and practical care, and it's specifically written for research facilities, not hobbyists. So check it out from your local university if they have it, because it costs like $100 to $300 online. The now defunct Indiana University Axolotl Colony also released an axolotl newsletter. Now, I've reviewed several issues online for free, and for the most part, the newsletters are, again, heavily geared toward researchers and how to keep axolotls in laboratory environments. However, there's definitely a lot of good nuggets of information in them, so I've linked the two best research articles in the description. The next category of axolotl resources actually comes from salamander pet care books, which I think is totally valid because it's worth looking at how similar species need care. Now the book Newts and Salamanders by Frank Indiviglio was published in 2010 and comes highly recommended by axolotl.org. The book's author has a master's degree in biology and worked as a zookeeper for reptiles and amphibians, so his book is very detailed and informative. Mr. Indiviglio also has a lot of great axolotl articles posted on thatpetplace.com, which you should definitely read. Finally, the last category, axolotl pet care books. Axolotls by Peter W. Smith, published in 1981. Some of the equipment setup and feeding information is a little outdated, but I did find the breeding and health sections to be pretty interesting. All in all, a good read where the author clearly consulted with a lot of university researchers and professors. Another axolotl specific book I found on Amazon is called Axolotls, Mexican Salamanders as Pets, published in 2013, so it's one of the newest books out there. It contains good solid information on how to set up the aquarium, appropriate tank mates, diet, breeding, everything. You may not agree with every single thing that Mr. Lang recommends in this book, but if you're going to buy a book as a beginner, this is the number one book I would turn to. Highly recommend it. 
Now, before I finish this video, there's one final resource I would like to recommend. Finding a good exotic vet that treats axolotls. I think one of the major mistakes I made when previously owning axolotls was not having a vet lined up for them when things started to go south. All in all, I feel like I'm much better equipped now with the wealth of resources I've collected and hopefully we'll have better luck with my next axolotl. If you want to learn more about axolotl care, check out my short playlist over here and subscribe to join our community. Take time to enjoy your aquariums and I'll see you in the next video.